Hey everybody, it's Julianne from Carrie Quilting Company in Cary, North Carolina. Today is Tuesday, the 19th of September, and as always, we are open until 7 p.m. on Tuesdays. So if you are a working quilter, we'd be happy to see you later in the day. Now today I'm going to share bunches of new books, bunches of new holiday or Christmas ideas for you, and then we have a returning vendor, and we have winners from all the last vendors that we've been showing. So we have a lot to share. Let's dig right in. First up, we have Creative Two Block Quilts, which is a really popular book from Annie's Quilting. So you just use two separate blocks and tile them out to get really awesome results. Next from It's So Emma, we have Simply Jelly Rolls. Each quilt has a scrumptious name such as baguette, baklava, ciabatta, or focaccia, just to name a few of the 16 quilt patterns. And yes, it does feel like lunchtime. Um, next, we have Rolling Along, quick and easy quilts from two and, a half, two and a half inch strips. And this is from the Moda Bake Shop. And uh, you may remember last weekend was National Sew a Jelly Roll Day. So a lot of these uh, new books that we have go along with that. The next one is called Perfectly Pieced Quilt Backs, the Scrap Smart Guide to Finishing Quilts with Two-Sided Appeal. This um, particularly appeals to me because I love making my own quilt backs and they often look a lot like that. Um, in fact, I'm gonna be working on a quilt back later today. So the quilt backs don't have to be made just of you know wide backs or of seamed solid pieces of fabric. Um, making a quilt back out of the scraps from your front can be really fun and this book can help you. And finally, we have Big Stitch Quilting, which is back in stock after being back ordered for several months. Um, this gives you all the things that you need to do, along with some ideas on designs. Um, that's another thing I'm going to be doing later this week is some Big Stitch Quilting. So I may want to take a look at this book myself to get some ideas for um, designs for my next quilt. So all of those are available in the shop and online. Next up, we have a lot of brand new holiday things for you. These are great little zipper bags from Moda. They're calling them sewing notion bags, but we all know that you can put junk in any bag. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be sewing notions, um, but these will be great for secret pal gifts or stocking stuffers for your quilting friends. Um, we have happy quilting. I really like that one. And stitched with love. And then of course this one doesn't have words on it and I'm about to sneeze. So y'all are gonna get to hear that. <laughs> this one doesn't have words on it, but it's a cute car carpenter star design. Now we also have new socks in stock by Kathy Holden. Um, these are just notion-y socks. These are all by Moda. And then we have this one called the Peacemaker. <laughs> yep, Peacemaker. I was making sure I could read that upside down. Then we have Eat, Sleep, Quilt, Repeat. Eat, Sleep, Quilt, Repeat. And who can't get on board with that one? And I love this one, Pedal to the Metal. <laughs> Susan wants that one. <laughs> And then we have these really great little zipper pulls, which I was just talking about. I'm going to grab a few of um, to put on a backpack that I have that has way too many zippers to help me figure out what's where. And then these are super fun. These are um, decorations for a tree or for whatever. Um, happy holidays. And this one says you can't read it because the thread is there. It says only fabric. So um, fun little additions and again, great ideas for gifts for your sewing or quilting friends or if you have a secret pal that you need to buy something for, those are all great options for you and they're in the shop now. Um, now we have one of our favorite returning vendors back. I don't believe they were here in spring because I believe Mary of Mary's Berries had a dance competition, um, but these are Mary's Berries. Mary's Berries began as a small service project and has grown into a charity bear mission run by a 10 year old girl named Mary and her mom, whose mission is to spread joy and love to children in need. The berries are lovingly made um, and each one is unique. They have a new offering for little ones, which they're calling taggies. Here's a taggy. Um, each soft snuggly bear or taggy, and I don't know if you can hear that, but it has crinkly stuff in it, which is so fun. Um, for each bear or taggy that is sold, one is donated to a child in need. You buy one and they give one with donations spanning the globe. And I know that they spend so much time on this. When Mary was younger, she had a really fun time cutting out the little details that go on to everybody. And a lot of them have little details on the butts too, which is cute. Um, and so these are Mary's two giveaways. Um, and if you are lucky enough to get one of these, you'll know that another one is going to someone in need. So if you know somebody who would love a Mary's Berry for Christmas, and let me just say, I gave them to my um, 
very older teen kids for Christmas a few years ago, and they actually like them too. The twins may have thrown them at each other, but that's okay. You can use them however you want. <laughs> um, if you'd like to get into the running to win one of Mary's berries, all you need to do is comment where you're seeing this video, and we will be drawing winners next week. Now, speaking of winners, we have all of our winners from this past week. So let's slide the berries over so we can let you know who has won the more recent things that we've been sharing. From um, Denise Mosco with Humble Hands Jewelry, this beautiful pair of earrings is for Cheryl Easton. And this beautiful pair of earrings is for Rody Holzberg. So congratulations to you two ladies. Your ears are gonna be looking stylish soon. Next up, we have Allison Curry of You and Me. Ann Raup wins this little um, gnome, and Ann was in one of my retreats recently, so I am a winner, and she will be happy. And I don't know if you can see that little guy. He's so cute. And Marjorie Straw won the mushroom. Congrats to you guys, and thank you to Allison. And then for Bethany Dufferin's jewelry, the wearables by B, we have um, this pair of earrings goes to Gail Oswald, and this pair of earrings goes to Karen Kievert. So congratulations to you too. And finally, we have um, the hand dyed scarves from Kelly Hutchins of Hands to Work. This blue one goes to Kelly P Pasley. And this green or purple, wow, I don't know my colors today. Purple and blue one goes to Jean Bowden. So congratulations to all of the winners. And we have lots and lots more winners to go. We are less than a month to the market, but we're going to be doing our vendors five days a week. So there are plenty of vendors left and plenty of opportunities left to win. I hope you guys have a great afternoon and we'll see you back here from the shop tomorrow. Bye.